all the students the present topic is what is power factor causes of low power factor and what are the methods to improve the power factor so this is this question is from the unit 5 electrical installations as i mentioned unit 5 has got three questions where the power factor improvement is very important so first in general terms what is this power factor power factor explains the quality of power transfer from source to load good quality of power transfer from source to load is defined by the power factor so this video is created only for the examination point of view the power factor formula is cos theta cosine of the angle between voltage and current cos theta is the ratio of active power by apparent power the active power is we can write so from this expression active p is equal to vi cos theta everybody know the ac power is p is equal to vi cos theta so from that expression power factor equal to p by vi and this relation is important i is equal to p by v cos theta so from this expression current is inversely proportional to the power factor so where whenever the power factor value is less low power factor value is 0.2 to 0.3 whenever the low power factor value is very much less large current flows through the equipments in rural areas when the good quality of power is not maintained low power factor will be achieved during that particular period of time the flow of current through the equipments also increases so few machines make it damage the boring machines so always we are supposed to maintain a good value of power factor the practical value of power factor in india is 0.8 economical power factor is 0.95 maximum value of power factor is 1 so what we have to put in the examination definition of power factor next why this low power factor is created as i mentioned low power factor high current flow okay so how this low power factor is created in our house we use let us say arc lamps electric discharge industrial heating so whenever we are using this welding process arc furnaces low power factor is created automatically with the help of this elements and due to magnetizing current so all our loads are inductive loads due to inductive loads magnetizing current flow through the inductive loads therefore power factor is low motors the boring machine what we use the pump what we use all are induction motors so they operate at low power factor at light load when the load is very much less okay so this is the low power factor value is 0.2 to 0.3 so why whenever we use the motors and welding equipments low power factor is automatically created so what is the essay question how to improve the power factor so which components will improve the power factor you can write directly the uh, names here there are three electronic components which improve the power factor one is capacitor okay and phase advancer only the name you can mention and this is important synchronous condenser so what is synchronous condenser the, uh, see already you have studied the synchronous generator so i'll put this one so first you read out the statement over excited high voltage we are applying over excited synchronous machine operating under no load condition is called the synchronous condenser that means no need to study any new topic for the synchronous condenser synchronous generator you can write as it is the explanation okay if at all it is asked for the essay question over excited synchronous machine under operating under no load condition is called the synchronous condenser so what are the three major components which improve the power factor means capacitor improves the power factor synchronous condenser is the over excited synchronous machine operating under no load condition is synchronous condenser it improves the power factor so what is the diagram we have to show the diagram so simple diagram is in the industries okay we are having the three phase we have already studied ryp star or delta three phase load means lift induction motor induction motors when we are using we get low power factor so how to improve the power factor by placing capacitors in parallel with the load 
always capacitors are placed in parallel with the load to improve the power factor or synchronous condenser okay now this is the first diagram we have to show next modification of this one so we are having a lift okay in parallel with the lift lift is nothing but the motor induction motor in parallel with the lift we have to place the capacitor if it is three phase we can connect the three capacitors in delta because just you can draw the diagram now we are coming into the step part how we improve the power factor so first using capacitor so first imagine a circuit is not having capacitor what is the disadvantage so the inductor value is maximum here when compared with resistor so current lags the voltage if it is a perfect inductor current lags the voltage by 90 degrees but if it is a practical inductor so current lags the voltage by an angle theta 1 this is a problem now current is lagging the voltage so we say the power factor is low how to improve the power factor to the same circuit connect a capacitor in parallel then what happens capacitor leads capacitor current leads the voltage by angle 90 now you can see the new way the, the vector diagram capacitor current leads the voltage by angle 90 degrees now draw a vector combination of ic and this is capacitor current and I1. So start from IC, draw, draw a parallel line to, start from IC, draw a parallel vector to I1 and start from I1, draw a vector, parallel vector to IC. So combination of IC and I1 results in a new current called I2. So we say I2 is closer to the voltage vector. So now we say, here we have written as theta1 is less than theta2, power factor is improved. So I1 lags V, capacitor current leads voltage by 90 degrees, I2 moves closer to V when compared with I1. These are the three points you are supposed to mention. This vector diagram, what you are showing, it, it is a proof that power factor is improved. Power factor definition, motors, welding equipments creates low power factor. So how to improve the power factor? We are having static capacitor, just so you have seen the circuit, synchronous condenser, write the explanation of synchronous generator and mention one simple point, overexcited synchronous machine operating under no load condition is synchronous condenser and then go for the explanation of this capacitor. Without capacitor, current I1 lacks the voltage which creates a low power factor. In order to improve the power factor, place the capacitor in parallel with the load. Capacitor current leads the voltage by an angle 90 degrees. As a result, the new current which is flowing through the uh, circuit with the help of capacitor is I2, whose angle, phase angle phi1 is less than phi2, and I2 is moving closer to V. If the vector I2 is as close as to the V, then we say the power factor is increased. After power factor in the unit 5, we got one topic, energy calculations. So remember energy is equal to power into time. Energy in watt hour equal to power in watts into time in seconds. Energy in kilowatt hour equal to power into kilowatt into time seconds. So you can write this formula if at all any energy calculations is approached. So one simple problem, a consumer uses 10 kilowatts geyser, 6 kilowatts electric fan. So power value is always added here, load 1 plus load 2 plus load 3 and energy equal to power into time. Just substitution of this particular value. Okay, so any new problem, any concept on this energy calculation, you can write the same as it is, you will get the complete works. And power factor, this is what the simple explanation, the diagram as well as equation. We'll come up with the next topic.